Hello, welcome to another episode of NRI Voice and I'm your host Shweta Shankar. One more week has passed with all of us being quarantined at home due to this COVID-19. We're all making a lot of adjustments and changes and making this a new normal for all of us. This COVID-19 has brought about a lot of change in our lives, both positive and negative. Let's all hope that we all get through this pretty soon. Today, we are going to meet a very, very young, beautiful, talented, I should say next generation um, American Indian, a girl from Washington State. She is none other than the winner of the Miss India Teen USA, Siddhya Ganesh. Siddhya, welcome to Pilipu TV. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you for that lovely introduction. How are you today? And uh, how is COVID-19 uh, treating you? So yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I guess I'm getting a lot more time to do the things I like, like dancing, singing, and spending so much more time with my family. But um, I understand that it's not this good for everyone right now. So I'm praying that this entire pandemic ends soon and we don't lose any more lives. And yeah. That, that, is, that is so true. Um, we'll, I just want to know a little bit more about your journey. And before mm -hmm. that, I'd like to know um, where you were born, where your parents are from, and what do they do? Tell us something about that. Yeah, sure. So my parents are Tamilians from Mumbai, so I can speak both Hindi and Tamil. I was born in New Jersey, and I moved to Washington soon after, and I've been here my whole life. Um, yeah, that's about my family. That's nice. That's good to know. Um, do you have any siblings? You have brothers or sisters? No, I'm an only child. Oh, wow. So the, you're the princess of the family. <laughs> yes, yes. That's good. Um, so you are a winner of the Miss India Teen uh, USA title, right? So how did you come to know about this pageant and what made you participate in this pageant? Yeah, so um, the local organization that does the Miss Teen India Washington pageant, which leads to the USA pageant, is organized by Ravishing Woman. And two years ago, I was an opening dance choreography for um, the show. And as I watched all the girls and all the ladies walk the ramp and answer questions with confidence, I was like, I want to be there too. I want to get to be in that spotlight and share what I feel. So. Soon, um, I signed up for the pageant, and as I won the Washington one, I moved on to nationals, and I was lucky enough to win Miss Teen India USA as well. Okay, so you're a dancer, huh? What kind of dance do you do? So I learned Bharat Natyam, and I learned Bollywood. That's beautiful. Um, so what are your other interests? Do you sing, play an instrument? Do you play any sport? So I do singing and um, I learn Carnatic singing and I like singing Western and Bollywood songs as well. That's very nice. You are, you're actually very, very talented singing and dancing. That's very nice. Um, so I understand you did perform at the, at the event and then you decided to participate in the event. Tell us about um, how you registered into the show and what were the different processes? Like, uh, did they give you any grooming session? Uh, what, what happened in there? Yes, so after registration, basically after a few months, we started training for the pageant. So one thing that makes me love pageants so much, and particularly this one, is that there's so many different rounds that test your like different kinds of ability. So there's a talent round, so you need to find what you want to do for your talent. Um, then there's also a question and answer round, interview, then basically even how to carry yourself on stage in a langa or in a gown. So I, I felt it was um, grooming in all aspects and teaching us to be more confident about ourselves. So that training went on for a few months and then it was the event. So the organizers of the pageantry, they uh, gave you all the training? So they actually had um, 
past queens and people who won the pageant who know from their experience and they were the ones who taught us. Okay, so you had a Western round, an Indian round, a question and answer session and a talent round, right? Yes, yes. Okay, what did you perform in the talent round? Yeah, so for my talent round, I did, um, I choreographed a dance and it had two parts. The first part was contemporary and modern on a Hindi song, Ghutta Hai Dam Dam. And it was about fear and how we all face fear in our lives and how many times it seems to overpower us and make us feel like we can't over overcome it. Um, and the second part was a Bharat Natyam Shiv Tandav, which was representing courage and that you should always believe in yourself and overcome any situation. That is so apt for this situation we're all trapped under, that we're all, we, to our own extent, we all have some kind of fear within us and we all need to face this situation with a lot of courage that's very very apt for this situation um so you are 14 years old yes i'm 14. which grade are you in and what, what do you plan to study further <clears throat> so i'm in eighth grade right now and as per studies i'm not that sure right now i feel like there's so many options and the world is changing so quickly and new careers are opening up. So right now I'm just exploring as much as I can and I hope to make decisions soon. That's good that you have your options open still. Um, th uh, that's wonderful. Okay. Um, so this decision of participating in the pageantry other than your interest in dancing and you wanted to get on stage and you know, do what all the other girls have done. How much of an influence would you say your parents had? Was, was your mom interested in it? Is, is this her dream as well? So I feel like one big role in why I participated is the love of community service that my parents have inculcated in me from a young age. Um, they've always told me to give back to the society in any way I can. And that love for making a difference is one thing that drove me towards participating in pageants. So I would say that it's also their support and their encouragement because um, for a person who's never walked in heels before to going to three to four inch stiletto heels, it was a big change in many ways for me to learn all the skills it takes to succeed, but they were very encouraging and they know that I love doing this. So they always told me that I should work hard and be determined, yeah. And that's just wonderful. Um, yeah, a lot of times there's a lot of misconception that all these beauty pageants are only about, you know, the external beauty, the outward appearance of a person. Whereas, um, as you said, it, it also involves a lot of, you know, beauty from within and what kind of a personality you are and what goodness you bring to the society as well. Uh, so what kind of community service have you done? <clears throat> I'm passionate about empowering children with education and I also want to work towards women empowerment and basically helping in whatever way I can because I believe that you're never too young to make a difference and I feel like pageants really there are many stereotypes about pageantry but I hope to break them by redefining beauty as giving back to the community um, because I feel like community service and confidence those are the real things that make you beautiful. That is so good. Um, considering you're so beautiful and all that, and you're so talented as well, you must have made a lot of friends at the pageants with the other participants. Tell us something about the co-participants. Yeah, so this pageant has really given me a family and I felt such a connection because it was months of training and whether it's the Miss, Teen or Mrs. Contestants, we've all bonded together and we've made mistakes and we've laughed together and you know, you really just form that bond with them. And especially at nationals, I got to meet so many girls from across the country and you know, spend time with them. So I would say it was a really eye-opening experience on how different and unique all of us are. That's wonderful. Um, so is this your first pageant that you particip participated in? Yes, I had done um, another small pageant earlier, but this is my first one where there's multiple levels and yeah, but I, I tried to seek this experience going there with an open mind, knowing that it's really different from anything else I've done. And 
luckily things turned out well and yeah okay so there is also another misconception that you know these things are um you know probably fixed it's it's partial towards uh, you know some of the participants who might have you know connections or you know they are close to the organizers or something like that you think this was a very fair uh, le- uh, fairly done uh, done program <clears throat> I would say that yes this was a very fairly done program because all the girls come from so many different places and on stage you're certainly going to see that one girl is stronger than the other in many aspects and the other shines in a different light um but I feel like it's it all comes down to the confidence and the the honesty you have on that day whether it's the walk make sure you're enjoying like that would be my only tip because the judges can see and the judges want to pick the best representative for charitable organization side of it and one that can reach out to other people so i think if you're just your best self on that day and you're working your hardest throughout the journey then um that's the one who wins yeah that's good uh, do you remember the question that was asked and what was yeah, your so the answer to it yes yeah so the question that was asked was as an indian american ambassador how will you support and promote both your countries so my answer revolved around how i use my rich indian values that i have of family and giving to support children here in america and um what i do is that since i'm passionate about performing arts and community service um throughout time i've found an equilibrium between both of them so i organize like i participate in performing arts fundraisers here in america to raise funds for children back home in india so it was about how i'll continue to do that and support both my countries that is beautiful um what was the next question i wanted to ask okay so this is a beauty pageant and of course you are doing a lot of community service as well what according to you is beauty what is your inner beauty i think beauty is confidence and that is because it's very important to believe in yourself you're going to face many struggles throughout life um one struggle that i faced is a few years ago i broke two bones in my foot and being a dancer that was a moment for me where it really made me realize how much i love dancing and how much i need to work hard to bring my strength back and i feel like the confidence that i had in myself at that time is what helped me through the experience So I would say that a beautiful person is confident and can persevere through any situation. Oh my god, that must have hurt really lots. I understand. You also need a lot of strength uh to, you know, go through the physiotherapy and, you know, uh gain your strength back to get back to dancing and um it takes a lot of courage as well. That's that's just wonderful. Um So um how are you helping with this covid-19 situation are you doing any charity uh, um for um this situation as well <clears throat> I'm associated with the local organization the Ravishing Youth Board which is um formed and controlled by teens and basically what we were doing is that we were um a few of my friends in the group were sewing handmade masks to give to different organizations and hospitals So I don't know sewing. So at that moment I thought what can I do to help in this situation? And the thing that struck me is that I can put my time and effort into baking cupcakes. Though it's a small gesture, I wanted to bring a smile on as many faces as I could. So I baked 50 cupcakes and donated them to an organization for homeless people. And the only thing that kept me going through that is I knew that I'm going to be helping them in some way in this tough time because some of us have it easy we have the resources we need and we're able to use this time to grow as people but others are really struggling with financial help and I thought that was going to be a way to help them so that's one thing I did and I am also currently starting to work with the Ravishing Women organization to be able to help um Dehath Foundation which is in Maharashtra India and give food and other resources to families in need in this time. Wow. <clears throat> you also bake, huh? That's beautiful. 
um, in, it's, it's sweet that you are, you know, doing your own uh, way to bring about a smile in people who are uh, struggling through these times. I, I know of, of other, other children who are trying to support the, all the doctors and, you know, caregivers. Uh, some cupcakes in the hospital, they are, uh, you know, stitching masks and stuff. So, so that's really nice that you are doing your own part, your small little part that you can contribute towards that. That's very wonderful. Kudos to that. Um, so these girls uh, that participate, how they, I understand that they will have future uh, appearances. There are le next levels to the um, pageant as well. Yes, so the Miss Teen India USA pageant leads to the Miss Teen India Worldwide, which is going to be happening in Mumbai later this year. And basically in that pageant, girls from all around the world who won their respective country pageants are able to participate. And yeah, so it's the longest running international Indian pageant. So I know it's certainly going to be a great experience. Wow. So you're going to make friends from all over the world. And this is going to be in your hometown, uh, India, your parents' uh, hometown in India, right? In, in Mumbai. Yes, it's going to be happening in Mumbai. So I hope my grandparents and extended family will be able to come watch and support. That will be such a wonderful event. Hopefully all of these things, you know, keep our fingers crossed. All these things get settled down and you have a, wond a wonderful night there. Um, so with your overall personality, that you do you think uh, that this pageant has helped has helped you grow as a as a girl as a girl uh, you know as a growing teenager how has it brought brought about your overall development of your personality and would you recommend this to other girls your age? So the experience I've gone through has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, I feel for me personally, more than confidence or anything, the, the biggest skill I learned was being a team player. So we see so many stereotypes like in pageants, girls are against each other or trying to win the crown. But I've learned how important it is to make these lifelong relations and this family with all these different girls. And I feel that being a team player and supporting and encouraging each other till the last moment before we're going to go on stage, that's the the biggest skill I've learned and I'm sure that every girl would go through so much and learn so much through this experience of being in a pageant so yeah I would recommend it. So um, so at school are you like this famous celebrity do all your girlfriends and other uh, your teachers everybody like look up to you or do they keep asking you for your autograph or a selfie with them? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> but I'm just joking. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. I do have really close friends and they were very happy for me too. So that was a great experience, you know, coming back to school and being like, I won. Because um, how much ever confident you are, there is that little bit of uncertainty right before you're um, going to go on stage because all the girls are so talented and everyone is so good in their own way. So um, it, it really made me feel very proud and made me believe in myself more when I did win. So um, yeah, it was a really happy time that I shared with my friends after that. So talking about winning, what was the winning moment like? Did you know that you were going to win or... Uh, what, what, what was it like? It was, um, I was so happy at that time. I can't describe how I felt. At first it was, um, I, I just felt so thankful because I realized how, how big of a platform this is that I've received um, and the outreach that I've got through the experience and the friends I've made. And it felt to all pile up at that one moment and I saw my mom and dad cheering in the audience and yeah, it was really beautiful and I'm definitely going to remember it. Well, congratulations on that big win. Uh, so, uh, do, would you like to share anything to our viewers about uh, anything else? Would you like to give them some advice? Would you like them to contribute to your charity organization? How can we help? So, everyone is different and I feel like we should all try to help the community in whatever way we can. Everyone must have some other cause that they are passionate about. So what I want to say is that for all the teens and all the kids out there, 
you're never too young to make a difference. You can try to bring a smile on as many faces as you can in your own special way. And that's what really makes a difference at the end of the day. That is so wonderfully said. You're right. I mean, you're never too young or too old to contribute to anything and to stand by your uh, views and try to, try to do the best that you can. That's such a wonderful thought, Zidia. Congratulations. And I wish you a very, very successful um, year ahead and um, all the best for all your future endeavors. Thank you for joining us at Pilipu TV.